Hello everyone, my name is Paul and you are watching X-Men channel. I'm a photographer and blogger from Poland. Uh, today I want to tell you something about XE3. It's a great small camera from uh, Fujifilm. Just in a few weeks it comes to your stores and it's probably some of us uh, want to buy this camera. Today I tell you something about capability with uh, flashes, Godox flashes. Uh, I checked this uh, after I got this this camera uh, a few hours ago Fujifilm Poland gave me this camera for my review and the first thing that I checked uh, was capability with all Godox stuff so I have here uh, TT350, uh, TT685, uh, V860 and AD200 and also uh, I have here X1TF uh, the good news is that all this stuff works perfect with with this small camera XC3 on a standard uh, firmware without any modification. Uh, just in a moment I will show you w with my uh, model Leo uh, how it works in a practice. Uh, and right now I just say that maybe some uh, few words about uh, XC3. It's a small camera from Fuji. It has the same sensor as I have in my uh, X-T2. Uh, X-T2 it's much more bigger and heavier also. You can compare these uh, cameras. Uh, the funny thing is that uh, this camera is uh, Exact. It looks like it looks like uh, XM1. I have uh, XM1 here, and it looks almost the same. Uh, Wait, well, it's almost the same. Okay, let's let's check right now how works uh, XC3 with uh, Godox stuff. Uh, the first test is I take my uh, TT350. I set TTL uh, without wireless communication. Okay, I show you just in a moment. I set uh, time to one per 250, and I set also synchronization in my body to first curtain. Okay. So I show you my my set my settings, okay, and let's find out how it works. Leo, smile. Okay, we have TTL. Okay. Oh, it looks. Perfect. It looks perfect for me. It's okay. Uh, let's find out uh, how it works in uh, HSS. Uh, I set my time to 1 per 1000 second without any changes. So we have 1 per 1000 second and first curtain. As you can see the image is too dark. So right now I will change only uh, the synchronization mode. I ch change it to HSS. Let's try again. Oh, it works perfect. So, as we can see, uh, TTL HSS on a hot shoe works perfect. Let's check uh, how it works in remote mode. So right now I will put on my X1TF. I turn it on. Uh, I also have to uh, set my TT350 to remote mode as slave in group A. You can see that here. Okay. I, okay, here I have also TTL. Uh, compensation 
plus flash compensation to zero and we can check how it works in remote mode it works perfect uh, and the most important thing is that we have still uh, time set to one per one thousand second so HSS in remote mode works perfect right now I will change my time to for example one per 250 okay and we check again how it works it also works perfect and the last thing that I can check is compensation for example I set my flash compensation to 3 if how let's find out how it works Ooh. it works also perfect we are at the end uh, it's time for small conclusion Right now I have in my hand XZ3 from Fujifilm. It's a new camera, small camera with big heart. Inside this camera is a sensor from uh, Fuji X-T2. On the top of this camera I have also new flash from Godox TT350. It's also great flash. It's cheap, small and enough powerful for everyday use. Uh, I'm very happy that all this devices even right now works perfect and when you buy your new Fujifilm XZ3 you can also buy TT350, TT685, 860 or 8200 and you can use it with this remote controller uh, you have a TTL, uh, HSS, first seconds Curtain synchronization. Everything works. That's all. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope I help you and see you soon. Bye.